for the sake of those listening to this outside of class, a stone is thrown horizontally outward from the top of a bridge. The stone is released 19.6 meters above the river with an initial velocity of 5 meters per second. I know on the board it kind of looked like a 50. Above the river. So my suggestion on all these problems has been um, sketch it so that you can see what's happening. So here's my stone being released from the top of the, uh, from the bridge. It's going to fall down 19.6 meters. And it's got a horizontal velocity. That initial velocity was 5 meters a second. And that's all, those are all the numbers given, yeah? Do you guys agree? Okay. So it might be helpful here for us to think about the path that this stone is going to take to the water. Is it going to do this? Okay, why not, Mary Lawson? What does it have going horizontally? A velocity, yeah. So describe better for me the path. Um, yeah, like go for half it. Okay, good. But like a negative. So it's going to go, you know, this might be an exaggeration and a poorly drawn parabola kind of thing, but the stone is going to splash down to the water sometime later. Stone splashing water or something like that. Okay. Let's tackle the first part. How much time is that going to take us? Um, first, let me organize what I'm given. I'm oh, sorry, that's not what I meant to write. Um, let's deal with the horizontal world first. In horizontal land, we know that we've got that initial velocity. What else do I know about the horizontal direction? Okay, and that is? Good. I'm just going to save myself a little writing there. Okay. And you know the acceleration. Okay. Which is zero. And I think we're done with the horizontal direction. Yeah. Was did I miss anything? Okay. Now let's go over to vertical land. Yay! I like vertical land better. There's more here. All right. What do we know about vertical land? What is that? Okay. Acceleration. Acceleration of gravity or acceleration in the y direction. What is that initial velocity? Good. Ooh, good one. Is that a positive or negative number? Okay. Is there anything else I know in vertical land? I think I got it all. All right, so time to splash down. Is that an actual acceleration? Yeah. So splash down is a term they used from back in the day when we used to collect uh, capsules from outer space. I mean, you know, like we would shoot the Apollo guys into space. They'd go walk on the moon, and then the capsule would land in the ocean. Splash down. Oh, okay, good. All right, so let's do uh, the time to splash down first. This is vertical land only. I want to know how long it takes something starting from rest to fall 19.6 meters. So what was that? What equation did somebody pick? The one without, yeah. The change in delta y equals the plus one half a times t squared. That one. Okay, great. So we take all of our givens from vertical land, put them in here. What do you get when you finally do all the math and get an answer? Do you guys agree? Was it two seconds? Yeah. It was like 1.99. 1.99 something. Okay, I'm good with that. Does anybody disagree with that two seconds and therefore want some uh, individual explanation afterwards? No, you're not willing to identify. Okay. 
All right, that's the time part, two seconds. Um, part B, let's tackle that now. How fast is it moving vertically when it splashes down? Now, I want to I draw out one piece of that question. When that stone hits the water, it's actually moving diagonally. It's got some horizontal velocity and some vertical. The only thing I asked you about here was the vertical velocity. So that is VF in the y direction. Okay, what equation did you pick for that? Okay, that's a good one. And when we do that, what do we get? you guys agree with her? Did you get a negative sign on your answer? Okay. We can talk about that. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Now finally, oh, how far out does the stone travel? I hear the answer might be 10 meters. So let's just lay down the approach for that. That's asking for delta x. Now we need to dwell exclusively in horizontal land. Remember that we just figured out that the time was two seconds from vertical land. Their times are always the same. Yeah, good, good. So that again? Good. Okay, this is because x is a constant velocity situation. All right, so the delta x you guys got in that case. What was the answer to that? I don't feel like doing arithmetic right now. Ten meters? Do you guys agree with her? Okay. All right, so that's all three parts to the question. Um, let me stop the recording.